Hi everybody, this is Maki Maki and in this video I will cover all the major features of the new update for my Lens Flare Asset Pack for Unreal Engine 4. This update is a full remake of the Asset Pack. All materials have been rebuilt by scratch and the entire setup changed as well. Unlike the previous version, the Lens Flare is managed by the GPU. This allows more sophisticated effects like the Unreal Bloom style transition at the edge of the screen, but more importantly it completely works inside the editor window, so you can preview it without starting the game. So let's take a look at the materials. To set up a lens flare in world space you can simply place a mesh inside the level and uh, then apply the material instance. Uh, so, you see here we have the material is instance, the lens flare world space and um, it, we, it is centered at the center of the mesh and you can move it around the level just by moving the mesh. You can use uh, any mesh to achieve this effect but uh, this works better for concave mesh, meshes. Um, so, uh, let's take a look at the parameters. Uh, the first parameter, the offset multiplier, uh, controls the, transmit the transition between uh, um, visible and invisible, the smoothness of the transition. Uh, higher values means uh, higher uh, smoothness, the transition will be smoother. If I raise it by to 0 0.6, we'll see that the transition here is uh, it's exaggerated, it's not even a transition anymore. Let's uh, make uh, point one, 0 0.1. You can see that the transition is very, very smooth. And of course, if you lower this value, you will have uh, a sharper, very sharper uh, transition. Uh, it, as you can see here, it's almost a switch. You can make it a pure switch if you to. Um, if you set the offset multiplier to zero, okay, you have a switch like this. Um, then you can change uh, the orientation of the flare. By default, it's uh, horizontal. You can make it vertical, and uh, it uh, functions exactly uh, at the same. Now, under the main flare uh, parameters, instead, uh, we have uh, the parameters that control the appearance of the flare. Uh, we have three elements in the flare, um, the central spot, the lens, and the halo. The central spot and uh, the, the lens are controlled by a texture, we'll talk about the texture later. Uh, so under these parameters, you can control the all the features of uh, the visual effect. For example, you can change the central spot size, uh, intensity, you can make the lens brighter or dimmer, and of course you can change color. So you want uh, the, the lens uh, blue and the halo uh, green, you can do it. Um, there are all, these are all parameters that are controlled here. Now, if you want uh, to use a custom texture, he's, here's the, um, the type of the textures that you want to use. Uh, these textures are in RG channels texture with the red channel that controls the lens and the green channel that controls the central spot. These textures are um, imported as a vector displacement textures and uh, no meat maps. This setup means that the texture has uh, no compression. You have maximum quality. And you're gonna need maximum quality because if you have uh, like uh, gradients and um, very smooth col color transitions, you want to preserve uh, the data from uh, your original image. You don't want to get them lost uh, in uh, during uh, uh, the import. And the last thing about the texture, uh, you want to have X and Y axis uh, uh, clamped. You By default you have warp, you want to have clamped in order to work correctly. 
So, let's move on to the screen space material. Now, uh, the screen space material works uh, on uh, the majority of meshes. Um, you can have uh, the, the default background cube, but you can have also the standard cube, uh, a cylinder, a sphere. It works fine with any mesh. So, um, I prefer the cube because uh, there are less vertices and uh, it's, uh, it's lighter to handle. Uh, what the material does here, the material warps the mesh and uh, moves it uh, to fill the screen so that the effect uh, is uh, screen based, it uses uh, screen coordinates and not space coordinates. Now the main difference uh, uh, between this material and the, um, the world based material is that the size of the screen based lens flare is constant through the level. So these uh, um, are materials that are better suited for very large objects, very far objects like um, the sun or a star in space. Uh, very bright and very far light sources that produce, that always produce a, a very, very large light source. Um, so. If we take a look at the parameters, we see that the first parameters are exactly the same of the world-based material. Uh, you, here you have the offset and uh, all the parameters that control uh, the main flare. The biggest difference here is that you have control upon these uh, reflections uh, on screen. Now these reflections uh, are, screen, are a screen-based effect so you don't have them in the world based object but you only have them here in the screen uh, base object here uh, you can control basically everything about these uh, reflections so their intensity their size uh, and of course you can uh, change uh, the the texture to modify the the effect so also here uh, you can, uh, if you have uh, your custom textures, you can use them by simply dragging and dropping them uh, inside the, the box. Now one thing I want to talk about here is the scale interpolation. Now the scale interpolation controls uh, how the size varies uh, uh, in, uh, in screen. In screen. So, uh, if this value is 1, the, the size of the reflections is constant. But if you lower the va this value, you can see that um, uh, their size changes. And um, when it is uh, 0, uh, it becomes a linear interpolation between the center and the further point on the screen. Uh, so that these reflections are um, uh, tiny, or tinier uh, nearby the light source and uh, bigger on the uh, on the left uh, on the further side of the screen, and uh, all the values between uh, zero and one are between these two extremes. You can control these parameters to achieve your um, the effect that you desire. This content uh, will be received as a free update for the owners of the asset pack. The update will also be available in the Space Creator bundle. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the new features of the lens flares. See you all in the next one. Cheers.